Welcome to my channel, Light Minded. This reading is for Scorpio, so this is for your sun, moon, or rising sign. Please keep in mind this is a general reading, so all of the messages may or may not resonate. If you would like a personal reading, all of my contact information is listed below. All right, doubt. I release the need to know all of the answers. Very nice. Very nice affirmation for you guys for uh, January. Really trusting in the process. That's what my guides are saying. So I'm going to get you a card from my Light Minded Oracle deck. If you would like to purchase, the link is below. Spirit, what messages for Scorpio? Quiet your mind. Okay. So Spirit is saying it is time to quiet your mind. It's time to meditate. Really connect with your inner world. Trust your intuition. So Amethyst may be a very good stone for you guys for the month of January. Okay, so we're starting off with the Nine of Cups. Queen of Cups. The Lovers. And the Five of Wands. So your overall energy is the page of pentacles. So you guys are going to have some messages come in, something financial or valuable in nature that is really going to allow you to move forward into success and victory. Some of you could be traveling as well, but you're going to be able to grow and expand. You're going to be able to take action. There could be a special union or connection that you're focused on in January as well. And look here, you have the sun, happiness, joy, vitality coming in as well. So we're starting off with the nine of cups. I feel like in the beginning of January, you guys are going to feel very satisfied, very content. This card is about blessings on blessings. So you could receive some type of blessings in the beginning of January. Something new. Spirit is saying something new, a new opportunity, a new perspective, a new way of looking at things, some type of fresh energy. For some of you, you could just be very hopeful um, and feel very inspired when it comes to the year ahead. You have the Queen of Cups. So the Queen of Cups, make sure you're nurturing yourself. Make sure you're taking care of yourself, mind, body, spirit. You have the Hierophant. For some of you, you could be looking at wanting something official to come in. This could be an official offer. This could be um, potentially making something official between you and another person, like a love interest, because we do have the lovers right here. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Cups. So I do feel like, you know, whatever you're hoping for, for something to come in to make official, either sign on the dotted line or making some type of connection official, you do have an offer coming in here. It is very genuine. It is very heartfelt. For others of you, if you're not focused on love, you know, you could be focused on making a choice. Wow, we have the Queen of Cups again. So you could be having to make some type of choice. You may have to do some type of deep dive, really go inside to, um, to really find your power, really tap into your power of trying to figure out what choice to make. For others of you, I feel like this relationship is very loving and very supportive as well. Okay. So at the end of the month, we do have the five of wands. This could be some type of internal or external conflict. Um, it could be petty arguments. It could be gossip. It could just be like literally distractions. But spirit is saying like you are what you focus on. You are what you think. So make sure you're thinking positive or constructive thoughts. Don't waste your time with negativity or anything like that. You have quiet your mind. So maybe at the end of the month, you may have to like release some type of burden from your life, whether it's a person, a situation, a job, or a way of thinking. Because you don't want anything to get in your way of manifesting. You really have to release any type of fears or anything that is holding you back, that is not serving your highest good anymore. Spirit, what additional messages? You have ear. So you guys have some good news coming in for January. You have bowl, plenty of material things. Very beautiful. You have love. Yes, I definitely feel the love here for some of you if that resonates. 
You have rat. Someone is working against you behind your back. Spirit is like, so what? <laughs> That's their karma. Don't worry about anyone that is, um, may have negative intentions against you or they're letting you know. Spirit is saying that you are protected. You are divinely guided. Don't worry about them. That is how they're choosing to manifest. They're only going to bring more of that negativity into their life. You have led. Yeah, you guys are stepping into a new experience. For some of you, it's new love, a new job, a new promotion, um, something new coming in for you guys. So let me get you guys a ruin stone. You have marriage. Wow. So some of you in the love department, you may be getting married, engaged, taking your relationship to the next level. For others of you, this could represent a contract signing on the dotted line. And you have future. So I feel like in January, there are certain actions that you're going to be taking that is going to affect your future. But I feel like in a very beautiful way, like I said, you're going to be signing some type of contract or making something official between you and a love partner. So very beautiful reading, guys. Please comment below. Let me know how these messages are resonating. Also, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I truly appreciate it. Wishing you guys love and abundance. And until next time.